There's a law, sort of a law in the universe. I call it the law of attraction. And the law of attraction is one that works like this. You get back from the universe, from the world, what it is that you put out there in the world. And if you're putting out there into the world that I am not worthy of attracting something beautiful into my life, that the universe will respond back to you with exactly that message. The ocean of abundance is there. And you can go to that ocean of abundance and you can take a Mack truck and you can fill it up 20 times a day and take it out of there and guess what? It doesn't impact at all the ocean of abundance. It doesn't even go down a zillionth of an inch. It's unlimited. Or you can go to the same ocean of abundance with a eyedropper and you can just take this much out once a month and say that's all that seems to be available for me and the interesting thing for me is that when people go to this ocean of abundance this uh, unlimited world all that i have is thine it says in the holy books all that i have is thine it's all there for you but if you believe inside that it's limited that you can only get so much that other people are going to get it before you do then you'll find yourself creating that very same thing. And the even more interesting part about this, you can't give away what you don't have principle, is that if your message to the universe is gimme, 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 which is a lot of people's message to the universe. I want this from you, I want that from you, please give me this, I have to have that. That's what their prayer is like, that's what their message is, you know, and they say, I want this from the universe, gimme, gimme, gimme. The universe's response back to that kind of a uh, mentality is exactly the same. The universe will say right back to you over and over again, gimme, gimme, gimme. And you'll find yourself never ever arriving, but always being in a state of striving, always feeling as if you're being neglected, never feeling as if you have enough, always feeling as if you're being shortchanged because you're constantly under the pressure to give, to get back what the universe is demanding from you. And the interesting thing about all of this, the, the irony of this, is that if you shift that and you say to the universe, to the world, how may I serve? How may I serve? The universe's response back to you is, how may I serve you? How may I serve you? So I shifted that energy off of what can I have into what can I give it seemed to me that the universe responded back with the very same message. What can I give to you? And the most incredible and wonderful and beautiful abundance has flowed into my life in every way that I can possibly think of. You can't give away what you don't have. So take a look at an inventory of what you do have. How much do you love yourself? How much kindness do you have in you? How much peace do you have in you? How much joy do you have in you? And if you're able to give that away as many times as you can in a given day, watch and see how much more of that continues to show up and come back in your life. All of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. So how we call it, what, what words that we use, we have to be able to say, um, you know, in the secret they say, you, you get what you want, you know, and what is missing. And what Neville said and what, what has come to me and what I got from the I Am Discourses and what I get from the New Testament, which I read before I did this, is that you, you say, I will attract into my life what I am, not what I want. And I am capable of attracting all things that, that, that the source is, is capable of attracting. So that's the difference it's like you get what you are rather than what you want when you're in this place of being receptive kind loving beauty abundance when you're in this place the universe conspires with you to create the right people the right things it all shows up it's not your ego i don't do it it's called surrender it's called in the recovery movement we call this letting go and letting god just letting go you have a senior partner, if you knew, who walked beside you at all times on this path that you've chosen, you could never have another doubt that this would work.